New tonight, the homeless crisis in California isn't just hitting Sacramento and larger cities. KCRE 3's Ty Steele uncovered a massive camp cleanup effort. Even in smaller suburban cities like Roseville, the number of people living outdoors is on the rise. Sometimes the camps these people are living in are often strategically out of sight. But after a cleanup crew took me to one of these hidden camps, the problem is not only an undeniable eyesore, but also a hazard to people and the environment. Ever wonder what happens to all those shopping carts you see on the street? Many of them end up here, alongside all the other stuff they carted in before they're abandoned. This pile is just the latest one in an ongoing cleanup effort in the city of Roseville. At first glance, you might not see where all this garbage is coming from. Here we are, about 200 yards away from Sunsplash in the Greenbelt Zone around Secret Ravine Creek, where we counted at least four active homeless camps. But they're hidden behind trees, shrubs, and the beautiful green space lined by multi-use trails. So camouflaged, you can't even see them with a bird's eye view from Livecopter 3. People from all the agencies that are associated with the, the homeless issue. But we did get a look when Roosevelt Parks and Recreation employee Greg Smith walked us to the creek's edge. Where the first stage of the work begins. To be, to be forthright, this is, a, this is a nasty job. And, it, but it has to be done. Every piece is picked up, dragged out, and bagged up. The amount of clothing alone, it, what, where, where is it coming from? But clothing is the least of their concern. Anywhere from five to 10,000 pounds is collected at various sites every Thursday by this team of four. Dangerous trash that includes needles, drugs, and even human waste. And this is not the first time a crew has cleaned up this very spot. And as crews are cleaning up this camp right here, just a few feet away, an active camp where people are still living. As soon as PD comes and evicts them, this crew will be up there to clean up that mess too. Even with no end in sight, Greg still believes something can be done to stop the cycle. We're not seeing what Sacramento is going through, certainly not Berkeley or San Francisco, but the trend is, is going in that direction. If we were to act now and strategically, I think we could make Roseville the model for stop it before it gets there. Just my opinion. Until then, the cleanup goes on. Finally, all the garbage goes into the truck and off to the dump. I reached out to Jill Geller. She's the director of the Roseville Parks Department, and she gave us this statement, quote, camp cleanups are performed on a regular basis and only after campers are given at least 48 hours notice and offered social services. Camp cleanups are just one part of Roseville's comprehensive homelessness strategy, which includes multiple city departments, law enforcement, social services, and area nonprofits. In 2021, 143 camps were cleaned up and 187 tons of debris was picked up. I'm told those cleanups will continue through 2022 and beyond as needed. Back to you.